The COVID-19 vaccine and flu vaccine are different, and it's safe to get both vaccines at the same time. So don't hesitate. Vaccinate. The Pike County Health Department reminds you that the strongest defense is vaccination against flu and COVID. After being accused in 2018 of improper sexual contact with a 16-year-old, Pike County resident Joshua Hubbard was sentenced Monday to 10 years behind bars. Thursday, Mountaintop spoke with Commonwealth Attorney Bill Sloan about the trial. This took almost four years to get this case to trial, and that is not acceptable for us. However, uh, in the beginning, uh, it takes a long time to get DNA evidence. This case could not have been prosecuted without the DNA evidence. It would have been a he said, he said case. And it would be very difficult for a jury to find beyond a reasonable doubt guilt in a matter like that. To convict, Sloan says they had to wait for DNA evidence during the pandemic and that additional factors, such as the death of Judge Combs and Hubbard's transitioning to different attorneys, delayed the case. We're not happy about how long it took, but as we know, during the pandemic, we had no court, tried no cases, probably for near, nearly two years. Uh, you, we could do some things, like we could have hearings, uh, things like that, uh, through Zoom, but in order to have a trial, you got to bring 50, 60 people in the courtroom to pick your jury from. In 2008, Hubbard was the subject of a separate sodomy case where he was sentenced to five years, and due to being an active PFO, persistent felony offender, prosecutors enhanced him with a Class C felony. His supervision ended less than five years ago, so we could use that case and uh, to enhance the present case because of the PFO, a persistent felony offender statutes. He was a classified as a PFO second degree, which merely raises the punishment from the Class D felony, which is the original charge, the sodomy charge is a Class D, raises it to a Class C, which the uh, punishment for that is five to ten years. The jury in this case appropriately sentenced him to the maximum of ten year sentence. Following the trial, Mountaintop had the opportunity to speak with Spencer Hensley about the case. Uh, it means you got one less predator on the street to attack another kid. You know, I mean, I, I had, uh, once this all unfolded, quite a few other people came to me telling me their stories of what had happened, but that was never proven. And uh, it, yes, I was very glad of this outcome because. Uh, like I said, he walked free for four years for a crime that most people would have got punished with right away. Hubbard is currently being held in the Pike County Detention Center without bond. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.